السلام عليكم مرحبا بكم مشاهدين الكرام في فيديو جديد سفيان البقالي يحقق إنجازا مهما في الدورة التاسعة عشر لبطولة العالم لألعاب القوى من المرتقب أن يكون البطل المغربي سفيان البقالي على موعد مع نهائي سباق 3000 متر موانع ضمن الدورة التاسعة عشر لبطولة العالم لألعاب القوى التي تحتضنها مدينة بودابست المجرية وسيخوض البقال السباق النهائي مساء يوم الثلاثاء المقبل انطلاقا من الساعة الثامنة واثنين وأربعين دقيقة مساء ويسعى البقال في النهائي إلى الحفاظ على اللقب بعدما كان بطلا لهذه الفئة في النسخة الماضية من بطولة العالم وكان البقالي قد تمكن من بلوغ السباق النهائي بعدما احتل الرتبة الثانية في السلسلة الإقصائية الثانية محققا توقيت ثمانية دقائق وثلاثا وعشرون ثانية وستا وستين جزءا من المئة خلف الأمريكي كينيث روكس إذا أعجبكم محتوى هذا الفيديو لا تدخلوا علينا بإعجاباتكم وتعليقاتكم المشجعة ولا تنسوا متابعة قناتنا لمزيد من الأخبار الرياضية يمكنكم في أي وقت اقتراح مواضيع ترغبون مشاهدتها على القناة شكرا لكم وإلى فيديو قادم إن شاء الله السلام عليكم لا تنسوا الإعجاب بالفيديو والاشتراك في القناة تشجيعا لنا لنستمر بنشر المزيد إن شاء الله سوفين البكالي بار I think uh, if you're lacking some depth, the head-to-head -head between those two, uh, when we look towards the final, be absolutely phenomenal. Should be very much business as usual for El Bacali. He's got a great sprint finish on him. He will not bother pushing on the pace. He will just wait. And my, my guess is, and if he did manage to watch that opening heat, he really should have been inspired by someone like Desagne of Canada. And I'm really okay in this sort of environment. You know, a, a lot of these athletes, uh, particularly perhaps a lot of the African athletes, they're, they're, they're so, so talented. They get... They get shoved into these Diamond League races and they don't necessarily get the tactical championship experience uh, that some of the athletes from smaller final here, but the uh, Hungarian and the Japanese having to work very hard to get back onto this path. The advantage they have got is it's still pretty slow. That was going to say, yes. It's, uh, but again, you know, it's, we can see the Hungarian <laughs> like an idiot, but uh, El Bacali, his, his water jump, his penultimate and his final water jump in those global finals has been lovely. Let's see if he can pull off another one here. He's under pressure on his shoulder from Brooks of the United States. We mentioned the American is young. He's exciting. He's tenacious. He's the NCAA champion. And he is about to run himself into a global final. El Bacali sprints into the final barrier, takes it cleanly. Brooks goes wide. It's a fall for Sime of Ethiopia at the final stage. And that is your top five across the line. It breaks nicking on the line. People were in mind about that. But Kali, Tinawi, Kibiwat, and Chematai. Karabana is the athlete that just moves that. This is out the Andorra and has had a wonderful season. And with that ball from Sime, unless he can protest uh, with the officials and say, I was impeded, uh, that is also him out of there as well. Well, you called it there with Leonard Chimitai of Uganda. He just had a really quiet race. He stayed out of trouble. He just hung out there in that fourth and fifth position. And coming down the home stretch, he just found himself just in great position to get through to the final. So just smart running by him to get there in the top five. Kenneth Rooks, though. Ken Kenny Rooks, the collegiate, he gets through. It's tough for uh, those college athletes after such a long season to show up here and run well. But nice job by him. But El Bacali is a master.